What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Megan. Welcome back to my channel to all of my returning subscribers. However, if this is your first time on my channel today, be sure to hit that subscribe button because you know you want to. So today I am coming to you guys with yet another celebrity birth chart reading. This is more so of a revisit because I have done an official birth chart reading for this person, but there's something that came up recently in the media that I kind of want to backtrack and expound upon okay so as you can probably tell this video is about summer walker recently um because i was on the shade room and i saw <laughs> that they had posted this horrendous picture of her um and it, of course she was receiving a lot of backlash because in this like photo where they were asking about her hair. Everybody clearly noticed. I mean, yeah, okay, fine. It's her hair. But, bitch, you're, that nose. What the fuck is going on? And it kind of got me for a second. Um, so, we can all see that she has visibly made some type of alterations to her face and or nose. So, yeah. She got so much backlash that she actually went and deactivated. Well, she removed all of her posts off of um, Instagram. So, yeah, that has just been the talk of the town. And, I mean, this is just even following what seems to be a long string of her, I guess, miscommunications with the public or the public viewing her in the wrong light. Her saying things to really gain negative coverage. Um, you know, she, she's done a lot of that recently. So, I just wanted to touch on some of those um, occurrences. So, Taking it back to her birth chart, Summer Walker was born on April 11th, 1996. So specifically as it pertains to this sudden change to her appearance, Summer Walker's sun is conjoined to her Aries south node. Her Mars is also conjoined to her south node. Now in the previous video, her birth chart reading, I basically discussed the fact that Summer Walker has a lot of masculine energy. Um, and particularly with this loaded airy south node, it can produce a woman who is very unrefined, raw, uh, who many people would describe to be uncouth. That's very much Summer Walker. So much so that I do also have a theory that I feel like Summer Walker was born a man. And y'all can't tell me in this damn picture, she does not look like trans. Like, but you know, you're serving me LGBTQ plus, girl, but we're just gonna... We're going to, you know, sidestep that point. Um, but nonetheless, this low to airy south note can make her very masculine in her expression. I even remember her uploading a video of she and her boyfriend kissing and she burped in his face. You know, she seems like she'll be the type of fart, scratch her ass. Actually, a lot of Aries women, I know, dark side of Aries women. I have a best friend who's an Aries son and she is the most like crass person, the most crass woman you would ever meet in your life. <laughs> she's digging in her nose. She's farting. She'll tell you if she got to go shit. You know, they say the very first thing that comes to their mind, right? I remember there was another video of Summer Walker lifting up her arm, showing everybody she had hair under her arm, and acting like she was licking it. I mean, just doing stuff, right? Things that most of the world and by societal standards, people would not associate that with being feminine and so on and so forth. But also, most importantly, this loaded airy south node can also bring about identity issues, okay? Um, it could also bring about or people who are actually known for having their faces altered whether it's voluntarily or involuntarily. And voluntarily meaning like you actively seek to get surgery or have some type of procedure done to your face just for cosmetic purposes or involuntary in the sense that maybe you, I don't know, broke your nose. Maybe you fell. Maybe you ran into something. Something hit your head. You know, that's, Aries does deal with the head um, and the face as well. So, you know, these are people who could have traumas to their face, their nose, their head. A perfect example of this is Michael Jackson. He's another Aries South node. And everybody knows 
pin well initially they say what sparked this chain of like plastic surgery was when he was doing that Pepsi commercial and the sparks ended up flying into his face and head and he got burned really badly. That's classic Aries South. No, that's a perfect example of that involuntary kind of change to the face, which, you know, set off this whole thing, right, to where by the end of his life, Michael Jackson looked like a white woman, okay? He literally, like, did all that he could possibly do with his nose to chip his nose off. <laughs> That's very airy South Note. So, um, yeah, she was, and airy South Note individuals, and given the fact that she's an airy Sun and Mars just kind of, I mean, it definitely compounds this energy. She is super impulsive. And the, the downside to this impulsive energy is that it could often leave one very, like, destructive. Okay, these people can be very destructive. I read somewhere somebody said that she gives them Amy Winehouse kind of tease. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily that we think she's just a drug addict, like who's about to die one of these days. It's just in the sense of there is this melodramatic sense of like, girl, you like self sabotage. You could just smell it on her. You could just, I could just feel it on her, and that's that airy south node, that loaded south node. So much karmic energy in like. Crashing and burning. She's like a bull in a china shop. Uh, and a lot of it is to defend herself. That's very much that airy self note. A lot of these people come into this lifetime fueled by many, many past lives of conflict. So in this life, they don't know any other way of being. You know, um, these people can be naturally defensive. Even when people aren't particularly attacking them, these people are all about preserving themselves and they have very strong instincts. And this is just Aries um, as an energy signature. But I know a lot of Aries sun individuals who have this as well. Very instinctive, very, you know, when their instincts take over, it's very primal. You know, um, how like an animal in the wild knows when to fight, knows when to, you know, procreate that they're, they're like that. Um, and so, yeah, it can get them into lots of conflict. And I feel like that's definitely, um, this is definitely explaining a lot of the difficulty Summer Walker has been having. And with her son squaring her Neptune and Capricorn, this could also even point towards this um, affecting her career, you know, just from a public or even corporate standing, because that Capricorn energy does deal with um, corporate corporate business, you know, work, your career. And then that Neptune influence is definitely like just the music industry. And we all know up top when you kind of, you know, go far up your ranks, the big wigs and the record execs and the people who really pour money and fuel this industry, they like people, well, I guess you could say mainstream attention is really given to people who can learn the name and the game of this business and adjust accordingly. And clearly Summer Walker is having a very difficult time doing this. And this aspect that Sun Square Neptune could even deal with a lot of her antics not being good for business, her getting in her own way because she has a one track mind, um, her being determined to walk this path her way. And that's obviously interfering with other things that are going on for her. Um, this could even deal with a lot of her instinctive and impulsive actions backfiring on her. You could even look at that as like this scandal, you know, what people take into social media. There's a lot of, you know, public hoopla about her decisions and the things that she does. And it's always something um, that Neptune energy is where you shoot yourself in the foot. Right. So. Contrarily, with her being a Libra North node, she has to learn to be more balanced in how she engages with the public uh, and more socially aware. I remember she got in trouble for uh, saying something like, "I she didn't she wish like AIDS on somebody or it was something. And I, for obvious reasons, it definitely upset the LGBTQ community. Um, and it's just her always saying something that kind of is just offending some group of people. That Libra, Libra is actually the sign of the activist because you're studying other people, you're fighting for other people. A lot of people with very heavy Libra placements are like social justice warriors, not stop. <laughs> so in this lifetime, she just, she has to familiarize herself 
either with the language or just with people long enough to even care and be considerate of what other people are going through, right? Other groups of people are going through. That's that Libra North note because these people, remember, come from past lives of selfish, defensive behavior. <laughs> um, there's not that much time to consider other people when you're operating from, you know, you, your own space all the time, 100% of the time. She also has a karmic responsibility to learn the art of negotiation. So she could even be the type to where thing, if things are not exactly her way, she's not willing to do it at all. She's willing to completely walk away. I think she said she was done doing tours after this leg of tour uh, or her most previous uh, tour wrapped up. You know, so if something isn't the way she wants it or she's not feeling right about something, she does her own thing. And with that Libra North note, she has to learn how to give a little, take a little. You know, if you're going to do meet and greets, bitch, take pictures and act like you want to meet with the fucking, <laughs> with your fucking guests, with your fucking fan. But yeah, no. Um, it's about her learning how to just give a little, take a little, bend a little. However, her Chiron is uh, conjoined to her North Node, which it's definitely going to make it a lot more difficult to gain the more positive qualities associated with this North Node energy as it this can really damage the quality of her relationship. So every time she tries to reach or activate that Libra North Node, it's almost always activated in a negative way or in a way that damages her perception of people. And it makes her want to naturally retreat to that opposing, um, those opposing characteristics embodied by her South Node. Also, when she's feeling powerless, this is also a moment where she finds comfort in that defensive behavior and doing things that are irrational, saying things that are just, like I said, just spur of the moment, being self-destructive and all because it's just what she knows. It's what's comfortable to her. That could also deal with her having to learn how to do things the hard way. That Aries South Note too. Um, her bumping her head because, you know, Aries deals with the head. So her trying to take this balanced approach to how she governs uh, her interactions with other people. or Her really attempting to forge these relationships with people. But, you know, her falling back into the same pattern of doing things. So this is just something that... Um, she's going to have to evolve out of on her own. Um, I just thought it would be very interesting to come back and discuss this because it's she's really playing into the South Node energy heavy. So maybe she needs to go see counseling. I mean, that could be part of her North Node too. And really, I mean, maybe she needs some advice. Maybe she needs uh, uh, somebody to kind of help her, help point her in the right directions. I don't know, but... Either way, y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Have you seen her nose? Like, what's tea? What do you, how do you feel about that? And as always, make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And until the next video, I holla.